What's up, everybody? I'm James with another episode of Outdoor Insiders. We are here today in the swamp and we're going to talk about decomposition and how the swamp itself has some unique properties. So let's check this out. Even though I was standing there on a floating mat of roots from all of these trees around me, parts of the swamp are incredibly deep still. We have our super scientific piece of bamboo here and, you know, it's in the water. Maybe let's see how deep it is. If we pull it out, it's like a foot deep. That's not that deep like three feet here's where the water was let's keep going whoa it doesn't stop well so if you look at that you could see even though i was standing a few feet away right here the piece of bamboo can go 10 15 20 feet maybe until it hits the very bottom and check this out as we put our bamboo stick in the swamp we notice some things a bunch of bubbles are coming to the surface and that's all the gas that's trapped in the mud down there. So what is that? What is all that stuff coming up to the surface? It's not air. And we know that for a couple of reasons. First off, it smells really bad. And that's a gas called hydrogen sulfide. It makes that rotten egg smell. And there's also another gas coming up, which is methane. And that's produced when a bunch of stuff is decomposing. So check this out. Here in the swamp, we have a base layer of this moss. We call it sphagnum moss. And underneath this moss is layers and layers and layers of mud. If we just take a handful of this, we see maybe leaves from the fall, old sticks that have fallen off of the trees. And over time, fungus, bacteria, and invertebrates will break all of this stuff down. Kind of like what happens at a landfill when you get a bunch of organic material breaking down, there's a ton of methane that can form. And methane's pretty cool. It lights on fire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our stick, stir up the mud, capture all the methane in this bottle, and we'll see what happens. So we've been stirring up the swamp for a few minutes here. It smells a lot like rotten eggs. We've got a lot of gas captured in this bottle. Let's light it on fire and see what happens. Now everybody, science can be quite a dangerous enterprise, so uh, don't try this at home. Pretty cool, we saw all of that methane light on fire. At night it's pretty cool, it burns blue. But as you can see, all of that decomposition under all the layers of the swamp produce enough gases when we stir it up with just a stick, we can capture them and light them on fire. As you can see in our swamp, decomposition unleashes a lot of energy. There's a, a ton going on beneath the mud. And some activities you could try at home is you could look around, find in your trash can, maybe a rotting piece of fruit, maybe even a potted plant. Is there decomposition going on? Are there fungus, bacteria, or invertebrates decomposing that material? And you can ask your parents. We burn methane here in the swamp. You could see what maybe flammable gases heat your house. Could it be propane, something like that? It might be very similar to what we have here in our swamp. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the future.